All right, guys. So I wanted to make this commentary because we recently got a trailer for Star Wars Battlefront or basically Star Wars Battlefront 3 for next gen. And a lot of people are mad. A lot of people are pissed off and I can see why. All right. As a fan of the series, I can see why. But first off, I, I kind of want to say I apologize if the gameplay in the background is not Star Wars Battlefront 2. I originally wanted it to be that, but I'm having troubles with the game right now. So I'm going to work on that and see if I can get that as the backdrop for this commentary. But um, yeah, so a lot of fans are upset. They're upset that the game is not really what they want it to be. And the only reason they know this is because you know, there's been a lot of information leaked around and also some devs have also said that the game is only focusing on the Galactic Civil War and not the Clone Wars. Okay, so normally in Battlefront and Battlefront 2 there was a mix of both. There was a Clone Wars and then there was a Galactic Civil War. There was both, alright? But this game is only going to focus on one and I think they also even said that there is only one, um, there is only, I think five or six maps yeah there's only five or six maps that focus around one war in the star wars universe and understandably people are mad i get that all right i understand but i feel like people are judging the game too quickly all right because i believe that just because a game doesn't have a lot doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a bad game I haven't played it, so I can't really judge, alright, I was a little bit ups- I wasn't really- okay, I was a little bit upset when they didn't have the Clone Wars, but I wouldn't say that I was destroyed or I was pissed off, I mean, I've seen people, they were getting mad, just cursing out EA and, and saying all this, or whoever's making this game, and I gotta say, honestly, I feel that you should just hold off on judgment. Just just hold off on the judgment. Oh, and another thing, they said there is no single player campaign, which I think is a bad mistake. But I think I know where they're coming from. Now, this is not a video trying to defend EA. I'm not sure if it's EA. I think it is, but for some reason, DICE is in my head, but I'm pretty sure it's EA. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. But anyways, I'm not trying to defend them, okay? I'm not trying to say, you know, I'm not trying to say that they're right that you know they're making the greatest game ever obviously they're not because well we can't even say that because we have seen no gameplay footage and i mean yeah they, they aren't showing us anything concrete and i think that the game i see, i'm not really sure how to feel about this because the game comes out this year all right and we are moving into e3 pretty soon i mean it's about to be may and then bam e3 so they have yet to show us a real trailer for the game, alright? Now, most games, you get a trailer like two years before the game comes out, sometimes even three years before the game comes out, or just a year before it comes out in general. This game is supposed to drop this year, we've only seen one trailer, and that trailer wasn't even gameplay. We got no real footage from that. Only thing we got from that trailer is... Um, all, all, the only thing we got is the planets. We, we got to see some of the planets. We got to see Hoth. We got to see a couple of other ones. Um, Kashyyyk. We got, wait, what's that Kashyyyk? I think that was Kashyyyk. We got to see Kashyyyk. Um, and we got to see Darth Vader, which leads us to believe that Jedis are, and, you know, Sith Lords are in the game. But what I'm wondering is, are they playable? Now, I believe personally they should not be playable. They made them playable in Star Wars Battlefront 2, and that was the biggest mistake for me because I feel that once you make a Jedi playable, you're unstoppable. You, I mean, for those of you who've never played any of, any of the Star Wars Battlefront games, in Battlefront 2, whenever you got to be a Jedi, you would just wreck house. It made no sense. Like, the only way for you to, like, die is for the entire team to gang up on you. And, I mean, yeah, that works. But the thing about it is, for a game like this that, you know, they're making, I'm assuming it's going to be kind of similar to, like, a, a first-person shooter. Or, you know, obviously a third-person shooter as well. But I'm thinking it's going to be kind of like an FPS. I'm not 100% sure. But if it is, I just don't think, like, they should make us. They, they should let us be Jedis. I feel like Jedis should just be in the game. But only the computer can use them. Like, in Battlefront 1, um, whenever you... Uh, I forgot exactly how it went. But I think it's whenever you got a certain amount of kills, you get to, so you get to spawn in... Um, you get to spawn in a Jedi or a Sith Lord and you can have Darth Vader fight alongside you in the battle. I think that's pretty cool because I just feel like it makes the game a little bit more balanced and if someone who knows what they're doing, you know, as a Jedi can really, I think it could be overpowered. I mean, I don't know. Of course, we're going to wait until we see some gameplay. I, like I said, you know, this is all speculation. All we got is little 
hints and tips here and there and they said that in the future they were planning on adding more maps i know one map they said is not going to make a return is mustafar the mustafar system which i think is pretty lame because that's actually one of my favorite maps in all of star wars so yeah people are upset and i understand why you know as fans we have the right to be upset i mean let's you know they've taken away the single player campaign which is i mean the single player campaign is what made battlefront amazing all right it made it it's one of the things that made it amazing it took away that it took away the huge selection of maps they took away hmm, what else did they take away they took away the clone wars which i personally believe the clone wars is awesome i think i like the clone wars better than the civil the galactic civil war but that's just me you may feel differently that's all right but um yeah so Basically, I feel that it comes down to just waiting to see some real gameplay. I mean, people are just judging it and they're mad and they're saying that it's just a quick cash grab because the game doesn't have the game doesn't even have that much content. Um, from what they've told us, yeah, the game really doesn't have that much, and I'm not sure if I'm willing to spend sixty dollars for a game like that. I mean, like I I, I just don't know what, what five or six maps really for sixty bucks. I mean, that, that better be, I need to see some gameplay first, yeah. I need to seriously see some gameplay, because, I mean, I'll take, for example, Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, that game cost 20 bucks. I mean, back then, for Next Gen, it was like 30 bucks for PS3 and Xbox One, and for Xbox 360 and PS3, it was like 20. So, and I play that game even now to this day. I love Ground Zero, so there could be enough content to last people. I mean, I just think it's going to be like another Titanfall, honestly. Good game, good content, just not enough to hold anyone over, and it's going to be like a waste. I mean, honestly, I would say, I would probably say I got my money's worth out of Titanfall. I think I did. Yeah, I, I got my money's worth out of that game. I played it enough. I know the game well enough. I forgot all the maps already, but I, if I were to play them again i would know them like you know i would just it would all come back to me as i play so so yeah um i'm not really sure i'm looking forward to it at e3 i want to wait just wait to see it i'm not holding my breath i mean i was back then and it was in my top five most anticipated games which i made a video of it and i oh god i need to remake that video because so much has happened i mean uncharted got delayed i still haven't played bloodborne um star wars is looking kind of kind of kind of janky so i gotta remake that video and i gotta i gotta rearrange my list of games and i mean it's, ugh, it's just crazy man i mean at least mortal kombat x was good so you know there's that but like i said i gotta rem i gotta remake that list and just remake that video again because so much has happened and so much has changed over the past few months and it's just it's just crazy but that's it for this commentary let me know in the comments below what you think about star wars battlefront and in the um and the direction that the game's heading in I, I don't know it's just it's crazy i'm not sure yet but um yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and as always have a wonderful day peace